different machines before dawn. This is now totaling to half a dozen robberies just this week alone. Fox 5's yeah. Bob Barnard has the details. And that video was recorded right here. The owner of this convenience store says he's getting out of the ATM business. He's not going to replace the machine that was stolen out of his store here uh, on Annapolis Road around 2.30 this morning. Wow. Almost 15 hours later, there's still a gaping hole here. They uh, kind of held off on the cleanup to wait for an insurance adjuster to get here to catalog the damage. This is one of two small businesses targeted by thieves today. At this mobile gas station on Livingston Road in Fort Washington, now undergoing extensive repairs, security camera footage shows the theft in progress around 1.40 this morning. The thieves, driving a dark-colored sedan, used chains to bust open the front doors, then dragged the ATM into the parking lot, making off with the loot. Oh, my goodness. That's awful. It is. It is alarming. That's desperate. That's just being desperate times. The right... <laughs> Jesus, Christ. Jesus Christ. You can't they make it up. Horrible people, man. Sisters are horrible, man. Press right. one. Like, like, think about what she said, right? In her mind, she's more she seems more concerned with the shitheads. Yeah, the, the, their desperation. She's concerned that, like, yo, they're desperate. They have to go steal. They have to go pull the entire front out of this guy's business right. which is going to cost him $10,000 to replace. He's already got a high insurance premium from being in right. PG County or all black county. So the so his insurance premiums are through the roof cuz he's around black people. They pulled the entire front off of his store. They took his ATM machine with all the money in it that he has he's responsible for and the machine. And she's worried about their desperation yeah. that they're living through. I, I wish we could do something about that for the sisters, you know? Like just help them see the the ill of their ways, you know? You can't. Trust me, you can't. You can't, man. They're running around calling Nike racist because Caitlin Clark had a shoot Nike, <laughs> the, the brand man. that gave you every black stuff um, from the last. Cali Kaepernick. They gave you Cali Kaepernick and shit. You know, she, she will. Yeah. She will fuck around and say, these poor babies. Tell me not. Yeah. Yeah, they're, they're beyond, it doesn't matter their age, it doesn't matter their socioeconomic status, it doesn't matter if they're the vice president, uh, fucking, uh, only one that's any good is Condoleezza Rice, man, but it really doesn't matter if they're like, their position in life. A homeless black chick thinks the same thing, way on topics, on political issues as a uh, Black chick that's on the Supreme Court or a millionaire. It feels that way. Yeah, it's no, it's no different. Times. The robbery here at the Philippines to bust open the front doors, then drag the ATM into the parking lot, making off with the loot. Oh, my goodness. That's awful. It is. It is alarming. That's desperate. That's just being desperate times. The robbery here at the 512 Food Mart on Annapolis Road in Landover Hills was also captured on camera around 2.30 this morning. The same MO, thieves driving a small, dark-colored sedan. Yo, if they did this 12 times, how much damage combined to those stores? This is to the neighborhood, to the community. You're talking about like $100,000. Plus of damage. What an expensive demographic, huh? In every sense of the word. Mash their way into the store, then and that's out. not counting the ATM machine. I'm just talking about the damage to the storefront. Yeah, yeah. Yo, do you understand? Like, if you break just the door, not the entire front of the store, the door is like fucking ten thousand dollars to install. Think about. Think about if that was your business. You're the owner, right? You have, you know, you go home to your family. 
Think about what's going through your mind. Yo, you what, had what, a rough what, day. You had a rough day. What, 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 what is it? Your dog and beat your wife. Your wife getting her ass with that. <laughs> Yo, think about it. Your wife talks slick to you, baby, not tonight. Oh, no. What do you mean, not tonight? Wow. <laughs> <laughs> Smack the shit out of her ass, man. Right. right. She, she, she's going to envision the sun word. You motherfucking motherfucker. Yeah, man. Salute to Moiselle Noel. He says, this is Jezebel from YouTube. Yes, this is my actual photo. Let me see. <laughs> oh, okay. Jezebel from YouTube. Do y'all know? No. Yeah, let me, let me, let me, she, she wants y'all to see her photo. So let's see. Let me, let me see if I can um, isolate Jezebel from YouTube. And pull her photo up right quick, man, for y'all to see, man. For y'all weirdos, you creeps. For your creeps to see, man. For, for research, research purposes. <laughs> yeah, man, for you creeps, man. Um, you know, and, I'll and travel. If, if, if you know, <laughs> if you know Jezebel, man, let me see. Uh, let me see. Let me see. Uh, what do we got here? Jezebel window. Here we go. Here we go. That's Jezebel, man. Salute. From um from YouTube, man. Salute. I wonder is she an burrito or a glider crew? Nah, know. she looked like a sister to me. Uh, a like goddamn a mulatta, a mulatto sister, man. I wonder. Yeah, I could see that, man. Yeah, I could see that actually. I might you- be a hard pass. Oh, yeah, it's a hard pass. You don't like mulattoes? No, no, my baby mother, a mulatto. My, my yeah. baby mother likes skin, red bone. Man, you know he okay. likes Colombians. Huh? You know this man likes Colombians? Yeah, man. Yo, mulattoes, man. Man, <laughs> man but that, that story, man, the way we just broke it down and looked at it, I think about that. The, yeah. The, 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 the never ending destruction. That these motherfuckers cause unabated. I know, I know. She said she Creole and Cajun. Nice, yeah, mulatto. Hit the link. Hit the link. Yeah, try to like try to well, you mulatto. Well, what is it? Hit the link, man. I like red bones too. Exotic. <laughs> Drag the ATM into the parking lot. Making off with the loot. Oh my goodness, that's awful. It is, it is alarming. That's desperate. That's just being desperate times. The robbery here at the 512 Food Mart on Annapolis Road in Landover Hills was also captured on camera around 2.30 this morning. The same MO, thieves driving a small dark colored sedan smash their way into the store, then haul out the ATM loaded with cash. The cleanup here also a costly headache. In all, five such robberies this week in Prince George's County, the other three in Laurel, Beltsville, and Adelphi. Some of them are very bold. You know, they go out and they do these things Some sometimes uh, with people in the stores. Uh, Some of them? And then under the cover of darkness. Uh, and we have uh, a special group of investigators who have focused their attention on making sure that this is disrupted. We spoke to Prince George's County Police Chief Malik Gaziz about the ATM robberies and an event where police and Hyundai are working together to install anti-theft software on cars frequently targeted by thieves. I asked the chief, why not put some kind of device or air tags on ATMs to help track down the culprits when these machines get snatched? Air tags or, you know, GPS tags uh, to to say uh, they are beneficial in a lot of ways from putting inside your vehicles to property that you value uh, to ATM machines and any other thing that people want to. Salute to Eric S. Ock Nation Hall of Famer coming through for the 400th night in a row or something like that. Salute to Darren. He says, for what would happen is Clark got a son, man. Nah, she already taken, man. Caitlin ain't messing messing with no son, man. She got a boyfriend, man. Stop talking about my my, my Joan like that, man. She ain't no trashy joint, man. Uh, They're they're nothing. 
Yeah, nah, she ain't no dirt dolphin, man. Or a filthy <laughs> fish. Right. Salute to um Pamela Henderson, man. Pamela Henderson in the building, man. Salute to Deluxe 247, aka Cal Ripken, aka the real MVP coming through once again. Shout out to all you guys, man. Salute to you. Um let's let's see what else is going on, man. Um you know, I thought they did have a GPS in them. Yeah, that's the odd teams. that they don't have it. That's just bananas. I'm pretty sure they I'm pretty sure that they I mean I've heard that they do, you know? But I'm not I guess not. I don't know, man. We'll see, man. We will see, man. Um uh they they wouldn't suggest it if they if I don't think they would suggest it if they did, but we'll see. Uh, technology is moving at a rapid pace, uh, and the police department, French George's County, we're utilizing all t all types of technology uh, to bring a, a, a end to this this type of thefts that are happening, robberies and burglaries. ATM thefts are not new in these parts. In January, we showed you this map after more than a dozen businesses had been hit. The stolen ATMs often ending up tossed into creeks. There are multiple groups. <laughs> Yo. Wow. This is January. Like it's like, yo, like this is unacceptable for this to be going on this much in one county. Is it Prince George's where all the rich black people are? Isn't it? Yeah, they have they they have um, hoods though. They have a lot of hoods in Prince George's County, and they have a lot of affluent neighborhoods. It's it's just the richest black before last year, but. Historically, it's the richest black neighbor um, county in the country because of the total gross, gross income. I guess what is it? Um, what is that? What do they call that? The um, household income, the average household income. But those people have moved to Charles County now. Sunflight. Yeah. So they yeah Sunflight. So that now all a lot of the richest people. Have law have left the county, and it's yeah. going down fast. It's never been the greatest place in the world, but it's it's yeah. going down fast. I give you think about it. Gladder flight can also be considered sun flight. You know. Yeah. This is and listen, man. This place right here, man. It it could be it could be the it, like think about it. it it should be great. It's it, it's just us, man. We ruined everything. <laughs> and a Wakanda. dozen businesses had been hit. Yeah. The stolen ATMs often ending up tossed into creeks. There are multiple groups who are committing these offenses. We are focused in on them. We have great leads. We're working it. Uh, and we believe we're going to bring them to justice, too. Now, Chief Aziz says there have been some arrests in some of the earlier cases dating back to last summer, Angie. Uh, no word on suspects in the two from today. It looks like they are more than likely the same people. Moving on now to Fairfax County, where investigators arrested a retail theft crew. Thing is, you may be surprised with what these thieves got away with. Underwear, yes, underwear. Fox 5's Josh Rosenthal has reaction. This stuff right here, that clothing. It looks like underwear. Lots and lots of underwear. In fact, police say this haul would run you about 24,000 bucks. According to police, wow. you're looking at 2,000 pairs of underwear. <laughs> Somebody stealing underwear. That's what they say. It's hard to believe. Here's the deal. Fairfax County Police say they arrested these three men Wednesday near the 1900 block of Chain Bridge. Sun Britos, man. <laughs> Three sun burritos, man. Why can't we ever, why can it never not be us, man? So, like, why couldn't it just be own burritos, man? Why had to be sun burritos, man? It's all three of them. So, so is there a lot of uh, Dominican women burritos? that need them? Is there a lot of sun burritos and burritos in the richest black county? This is Fairfax County. This is in Virginia. This is, this oh, is on okay. the other side of D.C. There's so, a lot of Hispanics there? Oh, it's a ton of them there. I mean, a shit ton. It's a shit ton of um, Hispanics in PG County, too, now. 
wow. Bridge Road. They believe the men make up an out-of-state retail theft crew, adding that the underwear was stolen from two Victoria's Secret pink stores in Prince William County and that they think the alleged crew is on their way to hit the same store in Tyson's. A license plate reader actually tipped police off to the car, which we're told may have been used in the previous thefts. That's what these organized retail theft groups do, is they steal products that they know they can turn around and sell at a discount, making themselves money. Including, apparently, stolen undies. Terrible. I'm glad they caught them. Yeah, that's one of many reactions we got Friday night. Fairfax County Police say that they're, they're, tar they're coming from out of state and that they are targeting mostly underwear. That's, that makes it unbelievable. Well, who would steal underwear? You gotta be a strange person to steal underwear. Uh, All right, now let's it. go back to Prince George's <laughs> County. Police there are busy solving overnight robberies at 7-Elevens. We have confirmed at least two of them fit the same pattern and happened just moments apart. Fox 5's David Kaplan has this report. Based on my conversations with Laurel Police and a couple of 7-Eleven employees as well, planned out is what their sort of theory is, at least the employees. Laurel Police and the 7-Eleven in Laurel confirm at 3 a.m. multiple people came into that store. One person held up an employee, taking them to the back of the store where their computer system was, ripping that computer out and eventually taking it with them. That computer, we're told by the store, also had the security camera footage stored on it. While that was happening, a handheld machine was used to pry open the ATM in the store with money stolen. So police in the store in Laurel tell us that happened there around 3 a.m. Then employees here at the Adelphi store behind me say around 3.20, the exact same thing happened at the store. He so this is not ATM robberies where they're pulling the whole front of the store off. This is just going in. Yo, PG County, yeah. man, you got a problem. Isn't man. it? Yo, I, but, I mean, think about everything that was just said, right? And think about the daily constant war between the, the shitheads, the sun, man, and the pigs. It's like a cat and mouse game that's never, never going to end. Yeah, it's, 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 um, it's the toughest time to be a cop, and it's the best time to be a criminal here it's about a 15 to 20 minute drive away from the laurel 7-eleven customers of each store say this is wrong they feel bad for the employees like i said i, I feel sorry for them they're nice people and it's just terrible that people keep doing this i live a block away and i come to the 7-eleven like every day like after work doing work i never Never thought that this 7-Eleven, this 7-Eleven is, it's, it's like, it's cool. There's nobody out here to do anything. Why, why rob it? Prince George's County Police are only saying tonight that they are diligently investigating what happened overnight, but they've declined to say at this point how many stores may be involved. Fox 5 has learned that there are multiple stores, but again, we don't know exactly how many at this time. Of the two instances, Fox 5 has confirmed, again, here at Adelphi and in Laurel, we're told no employees were physically hurt. If we learn anything else about this, we'll be sure to pass this that along time. to you. Now to the district where two Dunbar High School seniors are being charged as adults for a shooting that happened near the school. A bullet even flew through a classroom window and grazed a student's head. Fox 5's Lili Zhang shares this update. They remember this Both one. suspects have been ordered to be held without yeah, bond until their next hearing. Now the younger